All right, guys, good morning. Eric and I are at a church rummage sale today. This is like a smaller uh, type small of thing. Church. Yeah, it's a very small. This isn't the actual church. The church is over yonder, but this, oh, it's really foggy today. You see that? Uh, but this one here is just kind of like their, their kitchen building and stuff like that. Uh, so uh, the yard sale starts at eight and I think it's about 7.30 ish right now. Uh, so. We got about 15 minutes. Right now we're the only ones here, but that'll be sure to change within the next couple minutes. <laughs> Thank you there so you much. <laughs> they were like they're gonna they were gonna blame me. I was like, no, because I wasn't the one that did it. <laughs> they were trying to get me Really? <laughs> Thank you guys. <laughs> you, have you been yard selling before that you didn't know that? <laughs> oh wow. Ten dollars cake stand. All right, grab that. <clears throat> See what else we got here. Oh, that warm air coming from the other side here feels really nice. Okay, got a lot of picture frame. What do we got over here? What are those candlesticks? Those are pretty blue. Got a little dresser jar. <laughs> this little doll bed's cute. That would be cute for Amelia to use as a bed. She has so many beds though. Mm, what's in this little box? Looks like a little handmade set. Creamy sugar scrub. Whipped body butter. What's that thing? Oh, that's a speaker. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Let's see what's in these little purses here. <laughs> and some shoes. Did you find anything else, Eric? Oh, that's pretty. How much is on that? I'll have to take that phone off because it's actually polished on the bottom. Oh, yeah. That's pretty. There's no chips on it? No, I haven't seen it. Okay. That's pretty decent. Is there anything in here? Always got to check and make sure there's nothing in like boxes. When you're done, mm -hmm. I'm going to get you to hang on to these because I'm going to go get the light just to make sure it's good. All right. Are you not going to get it if it doesn't? I don't know. What's this guy? It's like made out of plastic or something. Okay, it looks like there's some stuff in the kitchen, so let's take a look in here. Looks like puzzles and things, some dog stuff, some kitty cats. What's this thing here? Oh, it's a tea light holder. Got a couple Easter things. What's this Cracker Barrel? Bunny basket with nest and egg. Not really feeling any of that stuff. That stuff's obviously not for sale. That's just their kitchen thing. Well, this is pretty. I didn't even see this. Ceramic egg. Side door shop. You see, like, it has all these, like, marks. I'm going to set that back down. I'm just, I'm a little particular. Just a little bit. And some puzzles. I know in our antique mall, a l people that, you know, we talk to that are also vendors, they say that they sell a decent amount of puzzles in their antique booths. I haven't put any puzzles in the booth. I don't know if I ever will. My only problem is like buying used, I'd have to put it together first and make sure they're all there because I would not want to accidentally sell a puzzle that is missing a piece. And quite frankly, I don't have time to <laughs> put all the puzzles together. Do you like that? Oops, sorry. Let me get this for Amelia. <laughs> She'd probably really like that. Oh, she doesn't need more toys, Michelle. She doesn't need more toys. 
I guess I'll, I'll, I'll not get it. Hold on. Maybe we can find her. These are like little colors. I have a shit too. <laughs> yeah. Cute fluff ball. Yes. <laughs> I've been starting to put her hair up. So I was looking for little bows for, not like she needs more. I mean, she has enough. But <laughs> She's really little. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Eric. All right. We'll take one more quick glance um, through here and then. We'll probably be ready to, to check out. So I didn't actually find anything. Eric's pretty much finding everything. All right. Oh, here's some books over here. Let's just take a little look at the books here. Um, looks like some down here too. Some kids' books. Um, cookbooks. Yeah. All right, what's down here actually? Just some crafting doodads. This clock is pretty. Hold on, let me look at this. This almost reminds me of Temptations or something. Oh my gosh, that's because it is. That's funny. Um, I don't know. I might look look that up just to see. Temptations clock. I didn't know they made clocks. That's kind of weird. All right, I'm going to pass on the clock. Um, they have three dollars on it. Uh, I saw one listed for ten, so I don't think it's very super desirable. So, uh, Eric, did you find anything else? I don't know if that's going to go out. They got the like, keys. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? They're like going like everything. They're all Imperial etching. Imperial glass. Yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah, that's, I don't know. Do they have on that, 10 on that too? I mean, it's not, it's not a bad price. Yeah, no. I just don't feel like it's as dark as the one that's showing. I don't think Okay. What else did you find? I see something tucked into your arm. A Nikon camera. I didn't even oh, here's some more temptation. A set of four for five. That's actually not a bad deal. I think these would be cute in the booth at, um, during the fall. Eric, do you think? That's all you. I don't think that cake stand's going to go out. I mean, I'd still get it because it's yeah. a cake stand. Cake stands are pretty popular. Where do you? Is that up at the yeah, table? Yeah, you put it up there. Okay. If you got anything to put up there, you can. Um. All right. I think I'll grab those. Maybe. Let's take a look down through here, just to make sure we didn't miss anything. That's interesting looking. A little pottery bowl. And what all's over here? I didn't really get a chance to look over here too much. There's some bags. This one's a monogram. There's a coach. They have on that. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. What does that say? I can't read it. Um, they got five on that. I'm trying to see. It does look like, yeah, the handles have some wear there at the top. So I'm going to put that back down. Oh, there's some bags hanging too. You just gotta look everywhere. There's just whip it good, it says. Okay. Wanted to. Did you see this camera? I know you picked up a camera, but I wasn't sure if you saw that one. Alrighty. Oh, here's another little temptation set. Um, hand and like soap, like lotion and soap. 
Okay, it's going to require, no, it's going to require some cleaning though, which I don't know if I want to put in a lot of, a lot of cleaning into that. So I think I'll, I'll just say no. Alrighties. I never showed you guys, I don't think, um, how to get back to my booth. If you ever come here to yesteryear to do your antique shopping, it's a really fun place to come shopping. I'm gonna show you exactly how to find my booth from the front door because it's kind of hidden a ways back. So you're just going to go straight back through here. Now you can go straight we're gonna go right to your right and then you're gonna make a left I'm squeaky shoes, dude. <laughs> That's me. and then you're gonna go about and I'll show you once we get there yeah, it's about the yeah yes the book is always my favorite um, we're about halfway through the building and there are Lord. yeah so this is like a whole main, main section of the building, right? Um, with three main aisles. And we are on the right hand side, but we're going to be turning off. And this is where some people I think get, oh, did you hear that? <laughs> I didn't like the sound. <laughs> no, that was probably a bit. <laughs> okay. So... <laughs> Sneak through. Yeah, we're gonna sneak through. <laughs> so you're gonna make a right here, and then there's just this small little section. They call this the annex, right? We're down this part, and then this right here. Let me get over here. This right here is our booth. All right, guys. So Eric and I are in the booth. We are gonna be taking out all of the Easter stuff, and as you can see on the floor here, this is all the stuff we're gonna be putting in. Um, so I'll give you a little before and after uh, our glass case. We did sell a lot of stuff out of there, including that really large fish vase. So that's awesome. We got more stuff to add to that. Um, and Hager went too, huh? Yep. So like I said, anything Easter is going to be coming out. Our rabbits here on the side, we're going to stick the, this set of Mary mushrooms. I'm not sure if we're sticking them there or on a shelf yet. Um, but pretty much most of this shelf will be gone, the gym shores, and really anything Easter. So I'll be back with an after. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to show you guys uh, the after. We took out all of the Easter stuff. Um, this is where we had those big bunny rabbits, and we decided to do a little bit of like an asian type theme we have this beautiful oh my gosh this is all glass bonsai tree uh some food dogs ginger jar little koi fish teapot cloisonne trinket box and i just put that panda planter there uh over here this section is a newer section eric did put in three of his norman brumbirds two pieces of pottery and then we have some of these butterfly terrariums so everything on this shelf is new uh here the merry mushroom canister set is new that's it's in beautiful, beautiful set, set. Condition. beautiful condition so that's new um these pottery pieces have been in the booth but just set them there um as far as down here uh, i did put in a set of these glass ball jars these miniature ones i picked those up at a yard sale um and then over on the side it's yeah <laughs> it's mainly stuff that has been in and it's not as now. themed yeah. and eric and i were a little particular and obviously we like when stuff is kind of like themed or matching in some can. way it yeah thing. it's just visually more appealing than you know this side uh so we're gonna work on that we're gonna bring in some more stuff for that all right i'm back um someone was coming to to take a look and i don't want to be in here and disturb them while they're trying to look at stuff so um as far as over here in the little ladder shelf i feel like most of it is the same i did put in this like onyx paperweight and we put in that uh robinson rand's bottom yellowware mixing bowl so that's new have we recorded since the refrigerator 
refrigerator set? And the uh, yes, and I'm pretty okay. sure I got those in one of my last so times. Um, the shelf's still the same. We did finally actually sell one of those mineral bottles down there. So <laughs> that's awesome. And then here is our glass case now that it is filled up. Um, we put in, oh, what all is new in here, Eric? There's quite a Bunch few pieces. A lot of milk glass, some painted. Put in another milk glass fairy lamp. The Amberina Fenton, the Amber Fenton, the Empoli Snifter. There's yeah. an Empoli Snifter down there. The green one. Um, a paper, paperweight. With yeah, the butterfly on top. paperweight. We the just two picked that one up. Some print ones are new. Yeah, so there's quite a few. Yeah, the Westmoreland vase milk glass is there in the back. Um, but that's pretty much everything as far as a booth update goes so that's that all right quick update we are back merry mushroom canister set sold probably like 10 minutes or so after i think we put it in uh so this shelf in place of the merry mushrooms we put in some pottery pieces to kind of just go with that theme since we already had these pottery pieces and then over here i did kind of like a groovy funky um just colorful bits because i had some of these uh rubbermaid canisters so i put those in the little daisy uh serving set uh, merry mushroom napkin holder a fun little uh, recipe tin box and a, a pineapple ashtray so we'll see how that goes oh and just real quick uh down here we did add this really pretty crystal bowl since we sold that fish vase just you know fill that back up just ever so slightly